Hi, so I am Biplav Roy. Now today we are going to learn about binary search. So what is actually binary search is? Binary search, it is a searching technique. Searching technique means it is, this algorithm is used to search for an element in the array. So we can write a definition like it is a searching technique searching technique used to search a element in sorted array that is one of the important point in sorted array and in logarithmic type So that's how binary search is different from by linear search. As we know, linear search takes order of n time for searching an element, and binary search can do it in order of log n time. But uh, for linear search, there is no requirements like about, about sorting, but for binary search, it has to be sorted. The array has to be sorted, has to be sorted. Now, how sorted array will help us for in searching? Let us understand. That. Now, consider opening a book. Let's say uh, there is a book of 100 pages, 100 pages. Now we want to open page number 80, okay, let's consider this. Sorry, there is some problem with that pain. Okay. So, so we want to open page number 80. And there are total 1 to 100 pages. Now, how you will open? Now, page number will be in sorted order as we know. Consider for linear search. We will uh, like look for every pages one by one we will open page number one then we will go to page number two like that we will we have to search for we have to like uh, look for 80 pages in linear search linear search but how this sorted property will help in binary search in binary search we know we have to go to page number 8. Now what we do actually, we just open a random page. Let's say we opened, we opened a random page, uh, let's say 40, page number 40 we have opened. Now I have to go to page number 80 and now I have page number 40. I am in that page number 40. So we know page number 80 cannot be before page number 40. It has to be after page number 40. So what we will do, we will again open a page in the range 40 to 
100 and let's say again we will open the page let's say 70 then we again know that page number 80 cannot be before page 70 so we will go more forward so we will go to 100 now as we can see here we are going to a random number okay so from from 40 to 100 we are going to 70 because we don't know where, where we are going to land so what we can do here so instead of going to a random page number if we go to the at middle if we go to the middle then it is called binary search so let us take the example let's say low page number lowest page number is one and the highest page number is it's a high let's keep it as high that is 100 and we want to find page number 80 and we will go directly to the mid page let's say page 50 now we will compare if page 50 is equals to 80 no that means we have to go somewhere like uh, before 50 or after 50 now since it is a binary search like as we know page number 80 will be after 50 so what we can do we can update the low because page number will not now lie between 1 to 100 page number now lie between 50 to 100 because i am already in page 50 so let's update low as let's 51 because 50 is not the answer as we know so and it will lie between 51 to 100 okay so again i will calculate the mid so mid will be something let's we are taking only integer value so in that case like 151 divided by 2 that is equals to 7 and 55 okay, 75 now again this is not the answer and our required page is greater than 75 so again we will update our low to 76 high will remain same as 100 and our new mid will be what 176 divided by 2 for finding mid we can apply the formula low plus high by 2 okay so it is 8 and 16 I think in my calculation yes this is okay so now now consider this, look at this uh, mid page is 88 now we know our required page will be less than 88 somewhere so now low will be same but high will get updated to 87 because the page is not 88 and it will be less than 88 so the le uh, one less number than 88 is 87 so our page is lying between 76 to 87 so that's how we are approaching to our answer now uh, what will be new mid up so our new mid will be uh, okay so 3 sorry 4 uh, 3 carry 1 so 16 163 by 2 that is 8 1 81 so again uh, it will remain 76 and the high will become now 81 is not our answer page number is less than 81 so high will be at 80 now again we will calculate the mid currently mid will be 78 so our required page number is greater than 78 so we will update our low to 79 high will be same as 80 new mid will be 79 and our required page number is greater than 79 so we will again update our low to 80 and high will remain 80 and our new mid will be 
8. Now here it is our required page number. Now how many steps uh, we are required to find that page. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 steps are needed to find page number 80. Okay. Now as we can see it is very less compared to linear search for linear search we have to look for 80 pages and 7 compared to 80 is very very less now when it will be more bigger number it will be more comparable it will be more less let's do now complexity analysis analysis now let's say let, let's take it as general we have numbers from 1 to n okay so what we will do we will first half direct we will go to the n by 2 element then we will compare our required element let's say that is e is that less than n by 2 or greater than now if it is less than we will go to the left half and search for e and if it's greater than e like e is greater than n by 2 then we will go to the right half so the complexity of tn equals to we will go to the any i either half side so complexity of a pro program with n elements n inputs equals to complexity of n by 2 input plus 1 because we are doing here constant comparison only one comparison so we can solve this recurrence relation using master theorem master theorem or we can do like um, uh, tree method or substitution method okay substitution so we can uh, for now we are applying master theorem as we know as per master theorem we will get order of log n if we do substitution what will happen 1 plus 1 it will get added plus somewhere it will become n by 2 to the power k isn't it so how many times we have added 1 so we will keep adding one until for the worst case this factor will be let's say one okay so n by 2 to the power k equals to one until that time we will add so what will be n n equals 2 to the power k and k equals to log n so how many times we have added one log n times log n into one so our complexity is log n. That is about binary search complexity. Um, now we can go to the program. Let's write the uh, function for a binary search. Now binary search program can be written in two ways using loop and using recursion. Which is better? If you consider recursion there you are unknowingly use some space, some stack space but when you are doing using loop there will be no extra space needed so using loop is preferable than using recursion if you have the option to use loop yes, there are some program which may, may or not be solved using loop and if you are doing it using loop then you have to use that stack then it doesn't matter you are using recursion or loop so let's do it let's write the program using loop first then we will do recursion also uh, our function is int so it will return let's say the position of the number binary search binary search it will take parameter first is the array length of the array which is number of elements in the array that's all and we are required to return the position so that is uh, let's 
participate at implementation okay. so we will need a low and a high so let's say low our low equals to zero and high what can be the maximum position of the element we are finding we are searching for the position can be n minus one because there are total n number of elements so last element will be at the n minus one position now we can start the loop why till the time low is less than equals to high till that time we will learn run our loop y equals to because as per our example we can see like where when low and high both were 80 at that time we are getting mean as 80 so it can be equal at that time we can get that answer but when low will be greater than higher that means we haven't found that element so we will try run it we will let us see it so now let's calculate me mean that is low plus high by 2 if array of mid that mid element is equals to equals to our searching element so we haven't take that input what is the element we are looking for so let's say that is the element e we are looking for okay. if that is equals to equals to e so we don't need second backend return m because at the position m e is present we are considering zero based indexing here else if if array of mid is greater than e what does it mean oh, sorry So what does it mean? If array of that middle element is greater than e, that means the element we are searching for is present in the left half of M. Because the middle element is greater than e, we have found that page number 50. But our required element that is less than 50, isn't it? E is less than array of M. So what we will do? We will update our high as mid minus 1 and else what is else case that is e is greater than array of mid in that case error option left that is low will be updated as mid plus 1 so we can close our while loop and if our loop doesn't return any m that means we haven't found any item or the element to be present there in that case we can return minus one implies that element hasn't been found so you can take a look of the whole program that is okay so that is all about that program now we can write it again in recursion mode. let's write it like that so for recursion mode binary search let's say we are taking the array as input and there will be a low a high and the element we are searching for so, okay. so if again that same condition as y if low became greater than higher then just return minus one because low should be less than or equals to higher high so in that case we can return minus one else case In the else case, we can write our program. So we don't need else because program will be returned. Okay. Uh, so 
we can calculate our mid that is low plus high by 2 then we can check if uh, our mid element itself is equals to the element equals to equals to the element then we can return m and we don't need any type of function code else if array of mid if it is greater than the element the current element we are searching for so that means the element we are searching for is present in the left half so we can return a recursive call of binary search with array now what will be the low low will remain same and instead of high high will be reduced to m minus 1 we are reducing the range that's it yes now at the last else case we can return binary search of array uh, at that at that time uh, low will be updated to m plus 1 and high will remain same and we will again search for same element e so i think it looking it looks okay okay fine so that is about recursive program so initially how we will call that function like array zero and if it's and n is the length of the array then we will call it n minus one and we will put that element this will be the initial call okay so it will be initial call so now at the final step let's write and run the program so we are in our C++ programming, so we are implementing it in C++. So let's include required header file using namespace std. So, there is our main function from where we will call that function, that binary search function. So, let's define an array like let's say one, two, and array need to be sorted. That is one of the important thing. And uh, we will have in as how many elements are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 elements are there. Now we can do a binary search on that array um, with length and we will search for let's say 4. Let's say 4. Yes. And it will return the position of 4. We are expecting it to be 1. Because at the position 1, 4 is present. So let's keep that position. Print that position. Okay. Okay, enter. Let's define the function. Int binary search array int here is a lint and the element we are searching for. Let's define our low as 0, high as n minus 1. Okay. So until uh, till the time low is less than equals to high, we will continue with our code like in the while block code. So we will calculate our mid that is equal to low plus high by 2 now 
check if that mid element equals equals to the element in that case in that case we can return the position else if array of mean is less than e that is e is greater than e is bigger than array of m that means it is present in the right half so we can update our low as mid plus one else high will be updated as mid minus one and if the element is not found there in that case we can return minus one so that is our program let's compile it g plus plus binary search dot cpp let's give it some time okay let's run so we are getting the position as one okay so our program is running let's look for some element which is not present there like five it should return minus one isn't it so again compile this and run again it is giving one because sorry i'm sorry uh here it should be it's representing the, representing the length so it should be it should remain six so like it will be updated to four four will be updated to five so we are searching for five now so we can compile our program let's clear our screen and run it so our output is minus one that representing now element is not found that's all about loop program now we can implement this using uh, recursion also so let's define binary search int array int low int high and int e that is the element we are searching for if low became greater than high in that case you just return minus one if uh, first calculate let's mid mid is low plus high by two if our mid element is equals to equals to e in that case we can return but the position of e that is m else if array of m is less than e that means e is present after m after position m so low will be updated to mid plus one else at the last case it will be updated in minus one that's all so we will not will okay we cannot update like this here now because we are not in a loop so it will like call and it will update in and it will return from the program so instead of l we can put m plus one so that means we can return binary search of array instead of low we can put m plus one and high will remain same and we will search for same element now and again the same thing return binary search array low instead of high it will become m minus one and e that's all about binary search uh, so let's run this also binary search in minus one zero so we are searching for five so it should give minus one compile Right. So minus one, and let's search for ten. It should be the position should be five. That's it. so. That's all for today. We will come back tomorrow with 
some exciting problems uh, with binary search there are many important uh, concepts about binary search in programming like here we are applying binary search only on the array because like we can apply the binary search on the solution space also so we will solve some question later so for now let's end the class here.